Hey everybody, welcome to the brand new Syndicate Faction. I'm super pumped about this. We're going to be checking out everything in today's video of all the new things that have come to the game. Hopefully, we'll see. I probably will forget one or two things, which is what usually happens. But for the majority of the video, we're going to be checking out the new things, the new parts. There's a lot of new update, uh, updated things to different parts that are already in the game. There's brand new weapons, brand new uh, like I don't know the crazy abilities new weapons and what they can do and I'm really excited to be checking all this stuff out in today's video comment in the comment section below what your favorite thing is that you see and why and then throughout the week I'm going to be covering all the new stuff I hope you guys enjoy it let's go ahead let's hop into it and let's check it all out so here's the first thing, the Yokozuna. It's a heavy cab. It's brand new. It has this awesome looking cyberpunk feel to it, which is, I love this in any game. And I'm super excited about this in this game because I like big cabs and we haven't had that many. And we have had some, you know, but this is going to be really cool. So this is a brand new cab that has a really unique ability. And people were concerned, but since it's, it requires activation, people realize it's not actually maybe as bad as it was potential what it could have potentially been so upon activation it gives a bonus to power and max speed reactivation sends a drone to the highlighted ally increasing the power of its cab and if it's a heavy cab heavy cab the maximum speed is also increased now here's the thing 21,000 mass limit 11 points of energy there's what we need for that brand new weapon that i'm super excited to check out i think this i think this is gonna be an awesome cab and we're gonna make a build around this for today's video now here's the thing, I really wish there was like a new new like so like music and sounds and stuff like that that would go along with this. Now here is the brand new uh, main weapon. I built a build with all, all some of the new parts. You can see it's got its own lights built into the you know to the front bumper. I love the way it I love the way this looks. This is so cool. The wheels are the wheels kind of seem out of place, but uh, yeah, there's the back, the rear, like the lights that come on. So here the wheels kind of seem out of place, but the wheels are awesome. So so here is the new uh, weapon and the new wheels. Look at the wheels straight from side to side. And we can, you know, pretty much do anything with these, which is really, really awesome. And uh, I, I, we'll see how it goes. I don't know how much I'll use these wheels because I always forget to do it anyway, but we'll see how it goes. Here's the thing with this weapon. I was a little underwhelmed at first, but you hold it down and then you basically release and it lets out a lot of shots. I was a little underwhelmed seeing it, but I actually think it's going to be pretty good because you're going to be able to probably tear apart uh, structural parts and wheels really easily and deal a lot of damage to weapons, which uh, I think will come, you know, majorly in handy. And oh man, we just took out two wheels right there. So th this thing though, 11 points of energy, it's got a lot of durability, but you gotta like protect this thing because it, it's a massive weapon in and of itself. And for, th for what it is and for the, you know, the cost and stuff, definitely gonna i don't know i'm curious to see how builds based around this because it's a single weapon you can't put really anything else on a build and so uh needless to say okay let's go ahead let's check out some of the other stuff and uh, look through it all Okay, so here's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through this. We're going to look at all these different things and then uh, progressively kind of check them out as we go along. Okay, so here's a tempura melee weapon. Uh, it requires activation. It's like a plasma blade, and it's the first thing you get, which is kind of cool. You you know, when you get this, you unlock that right away. We got new avatars. We got new parts. We got new structural parts, new, uh, you know, aesthetics. Here are the camber wheels. That's kind of a camber right there, you know, like with the upward thing. Uh, anyway, the this is a brand new light wheel. It's a drift wheel. And uh, this will be interesting to use because it has pneumatic uh, suspension, but it doesn't actually make you bounce. So going into that drift mode is going to, I don't know, I'm excited about it. So here's the new Yao Guai autonomous drone. And the best way to think about this is it kind of f fires and functions. I should say it doesn't function, fires like a catapult. So you have an area that you launch it into, and then this drone cannot be uh, disabled remotely. And it has... It, it deals increased damage upon like uh, its first like hits and i could see these being maybe super trolly maybe not because i think that these things will be easily countered uh, but the cool thing with these and the uh, other thing which the mine layer we're just going to check out is oh that's cool look at that okay so you can obviously i mean it's a big target uh, it's it's got a laser target to kind of pick its first target and then it does increase damage 
initially. So it, it's going to require some map knowledge, maybe where to place it that could be effective. You know, like think about like putting those turrets down, those drones down when you are in a cap zone or like Rock City or something like that. And so this thing can't be disabled remotely. Its ammunition type is increased by ammo pack type and the drone deals increased damage for the first few seconds. And so I can see these things being rather trolly, but I also can see them being countered by Argus. I don't know for sure if this will work. If it doesn't work, okay, forgive me. I I have no way to test it, but it is a fireable thing. It is a drone, and so I imagine with this, the mines, you're gonna Argus can take care of it. So I think it will be easily countered. Now, like I said, I don't know for sure, and so if I if it can't. I'm sorry, but I, so my first thought is that uh, people, you're going to see a lot of people running certain things just to make sure that they're countering these. But I also do think that, you know, not everybody has that. And so they could be completely trolly. But, you know, a, a teammate, if being aware, is going to be able to notice and take it out rather easily i think uh we'll see how it goes i i don't know i'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on it and what you think will happen with these what weapons do you think you're gonna see the most of and there are also things like the enlightenment tracker which i can imagine being uh very effective for team battles and stuff like that here's two of them let's see what happens here i like how they pop out like that uh, I can see. I think they could be kind of trolly. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, here's the Enlightenment tracking system. This is actually under weapons, which is interesting. Uh, the cool thing with this is, basically, when you fire it, it locks on to an enemy, and whoop, it, it's very fast. And then they become noticeable on the map for everybody. And also, it keeps them from going invisible. So I think that this could be used in a way that could be very helpful for teams. It basically fires this beacon, and uh, when this beacon is shot down, the module's cooldown is reduced by 30%. Now, here's the thing. Let's see how small this is. So it does flash, and I don't, I'm don't. i sure you'll be there'll be an indication that you were hit by it, but look at that. So, it, I mean, I think it can be a good tool and here's the thing is it uh does it change via radar i have to imagine since it's a fireable thing that it will okay let's see oh yep you can totally and it's pretty fast so it it'll get there quick so uh yeah that's the new tracking system like i said it's under weapons uh only one can be installed that's another important thing but yeah keeping them from going invisible it could be utilized at some pretty good times i think to kind of help your team out greatly especially like in a cap or something okay here's a new one the janabi light cap this is like a drift cap and basically as you're drifting it's it's really interesting looking like it's exposed it's so weird uh it's a drift cap and basically what happens is as you're drifting it, it takes the energy from the drift and it puts it into the weapon into the weapon and increases the weapon damage uh, while the, it's the vehicle's in a drift and it only works with wheels which I think technically the omnis are wheels but I don't know if the omnis will work or if like strafing is technically a drift I don't think it is I think you need the camber wheels but basically it just like funnels the energy into the weapons now I'm not much of a I don't know guy to probably wind up using that but i do think it would be pretty effective okay here are the omni wheels now we have already checked this out obviously uh you can move however the heck you want with those it's pretty cool here's the kaiju is at 50 there's also like new hologram projectors and new paints and there's one of the hologram projectors at like the very end so the kaiju we've already checked out the pulse cannon it's I think it looks amazing. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm just very, very curious to see how it's used in combat, like, you know, by itself, essentially, is the main weapon. It'll be really interesting. But at 50, I mean, that's pretty cool that you can uh, get that at 50. So hold the trigger to extend the burst. The charging gradually slows the armor vehicle and the weapon's turning speed. And this is interesting. Uh, it, we need to check this out because before it said that it would do damage to your vehicle now it's not mention making any mention and it actually isn't really saying anything about overcharging so i'm curious to see if it does damage or what happens what the heck what you can just literally hold it down like this and drive around like this so it 
actually doesn't do it never and never actually overheats whoa that's very interesting so this will okay you can see how slow i'm going but you can just hold it down the entire time and drive around like that if you want to you're pretty slow but you could do it really cool okay that's nice now here's the mine layer okay the jaboko this is <laughs> i'm actually the most interested to see how this goes because it wasn't really spoken of that much and uh, i think that this could potentially be the most trolly when dealing damage the trap gradually reduces the power and max speed of the enemy ar armored vehicle firing a trap doesn't drag the enemy out of invisibility but its attack does and the amount of ammunition doesn't change the clip is reloaded automatically okay the clip is reloaded automatically so it doesn't i don't think there's a way to affect the reloading but it doesn't have ammo and so you can just keep firing it i think it's gonna be pretty freaking trolly where's that jab jaboki oh jaboki jaboko jaboko so uh yeah you can get quite a few of them it's only four points of energy okay we put a generator on we got three of them now <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so same type of thing fired into an area and then oh only two launched. Oh my gosh <laughs> Look at that So it, it like cap cams them in a sense and then electrifies them and deals damage over time Yeah, I, so I don't think you can mess with the reloading. I will test it though, but I'm pretty sure that you can't so you can see right there uh, Can't it's like reloading on its own We've got the new cab ability up. So yeah, this these things will be pretty interesting. I want to see if I can actually tweak its reloading at all. I don't think I can uh, with different cabs since it reloads automatically. I'm assuming that means that you can't make it fire any faster. Okay, I did some testing. Yeah, you can't. There's nothing you can do. It just kind of has its own speed and reloads automatically. So the new cabs at 67. There's new structural parts. There's new stickers. There's new avatars. There's new paints. Oh, I didn't actually see this paint. Corporate style. Let's see what now? Where is it? Let's see what this looks like. It's black. Oh, sweet. It's got like line some sweet lines going through it and stuff um we'll have to really kind of check out and see uh what all, all these in action i actually don't think i have the secure which is interesting i'd like to check that out uh, but i don't have it i believe okay here's a kind of a whole hodgepodge of all the new stuff look at this look at this this faction is so cool and look at the uh, holographics there that is awesome and then we got the wheels we got the drifting oh yeah look at that so cool I actually really like that the maneuverability I think we might I think I might know what I'm gonna be playing a little bit more than usual Ugh, I love the look of this this is so cool well guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing is that you saw and like I said throughout the week we're gonna be checking out all the new stuff uh, all the individual weapons and uh, seeing what they all do and having videos that's primarily focus on them uh, i do hope you guys enjoyed today's video like i said let me know what your favorite thing is you saw hope you guys had a, a good time watching and i hope you guys have a really great day today